Alright guys, uh, my name is Ralph, better known online as Sept, and after countless times trying to do this, uh, I think I got the film ready. Uh, basically, a lot of people are having trouble with the Missouri stage where you, where you race around a figure eight trying to drift, but a lot of people can't seem to actually get the drift in control. So I'm here to basically explain how you do it and what technique goes into it. And what exactly does it take to get the S rank? Um, by knowing this, it'll actually help you out in later stages where you do need to drift. So, by learning this stage, you'll pretty much know how to keep control of your drift. And hopefully with this video, a lot of people uh, can get the S rank on this. And, you know, just use the drift to their, to their potential and to their advantage, basically. Okay, so. Let's get to it. Get in the thing. There we go. As you can see, um, it basically takes just one, at least less than a minute. Uh, I got it in 58 seconds. Just with that, and with the small amount of rings you carry, you should be able to get an S rank on this one. Okay, so there's actually the most important thing you gotta do. Let me pause this so I can explain. Uh, basically, what you want to do is, the most important thing is, don't boost when you're about to turn. Only boost when you're going straight. But when you reach a curve, let go of the boost. And here's where it gets tricky. Before you actually drift, turn Sonic in the direction you want it to go. So for example, if you're going to reach a curve, stop the boost. And when you reach the curve, turn with Sonic. So let's say you're going to turn right. Move Sonic to the right or lean the joystick to the right first so that Sonic can lean in that direction. Once Sonic is heading in that direction, then you can go ahead and drift. If you do that, you'll have to drift in, in a bit of more control. Your turn will be much tighter. And as long as, you can, as, long as you're not afraid to let go of it, uh, you should pretty much be fine with the drifting technique. So like I said, just before you actually do the drift, turn Sonic first. A lot of people drift right right from the start. They drift just while they're running straight. And then they wonder why they can't turn in time. So let me, let me uh, show it to you right now. There we go. Boost, let go, turn first, then drift. Oh, right. I just messed up the first time there, but it doesn't... It takes a couple of tries, but this is much easier, believe me. Boost. Let go of the boost. Turn for Sonic, then drift. That's how it works. Don't be afraid to let go of the boost. Or should I say, don't let go of it while you're turning. And there you go. Haha, -ha, new record. So, um, I was in a bit of concentration while doing that. I'm not really good at explaining while playing. But basically, what you have to understand is you have to turn with Sonic first. Don't try to drift while you're running straight because when you do that, you're not going to have enough time to actually make the turn. So, turn with Sonic first. Then once you have the amount of uh, angle that you're heading at, then you can go ahead and drift. I don't like to use the B button for the drift because um, I let go of the A button in case I, I need to do a little jumping or something of that nature. But you get what, I, what I'm getting at. I hope you understand what I'm getting at. Like I said, just turn with Sonic first, then go ahead and do the drift. And if you're going too, too tight 
you can keep continue holding on drift and just move this the stick in the opposite direction and you should be fine and like I said don't be afraid to drift if, if you think Sonic is about to hit the edge just keep going and if you mess up just try it again and believe me if you keep drifting like this it'll work to your advantage remember turn with Sonic first then drift and that's basically all you need to know hopefully that helps